Okay, so let's take a quick look and see how will his lawsuits go. Donald J. Trump. How will your lawsuits go? Nine of Cups. Someone to save the day. Isn't it interesting how, what's the old saying? The easiest thing to get into is the hardest thing to get out of is trouble. He wants someone to always snatch him from the grasp of trouble. But he keeps getting his own self into it. Page of Cauldrons. The page and the knight have been coming up for him a lot. Because there's an interest in this person. There's a bond. There's a, like, an attachment. But this person is... You know, he really depends on whoever this is to keep his butt out the fire. And it could be Mitch McConnell. There's Trump, King of Swords. Now, the deck chooses the reading, as I have said many, many times. But that I'm going to hold it together this time because I almost cracked up just now. This is about to be the end of that video because I don't think I would have recovered from that one. But... Compose yourself. I said this card was Donald Trump. Does that not like like a prison uniform to you from back here? Lord have all the mercy. I, that looks like an orange jumpsuit for real. I'm like this sucker in jail. Go ahead. Mm, mm, mm. The deck chooses the reading. I ain't, mm, mm, mm. Ten of cauldrons. family. Then there's the investigators with the King of Wands. Somebody with something to prove to. So maybe it's not investigators, it's somebody with something to prove. That's interesting. Speak softly and carry a big stick. This person is the opposite. The King of Swords, quite logical. Donald Trump's not logical. He's more like this person, but I'll explain where I'm going here. So this is Donald Trump. He's a Gemini by Western Zodiac, right? He's a Gemini. So that's how I identify him in my deck. This is how he behaves. Someone in the live stream pointed out that this chair that this person sits in looks like a penis. Now, you sit in this giant chair with this sort of overcompensating chair surrounded by fire and your red, rare alligator breathing fire lizard something that you got down here I don't know but you have the tiniest wand in your hand you don't hold that much power you're just surrounded by something to compensate for your ego this is the smallest thing in that picture the lizard on the floor is bigger than the wand 
His crown is made of fire. He is supposed to look intimidating. He's supposed to be tough. He's supposed to, you know, bark loud. But this is the smallest thing in the picture. The flames themselves are bigger than his wand. Overcompensation. Your lawsuits. That's pretty much what this is. You're trying to be scared, but you want to be appear to be big and bad and tough. But you are scared. Admit that, but you won't because, you know, overcompensation. Because mind you, it's the only king in this deck that sits in a chair like that. You can't see his chair. The king of cups chair is also kind of like this. But we won't go into that card because that card's something else. So <laughs> the five of swords, defeat and dishonor. Going down, slowly but surely. The sun. Your word warning or your fear, the illumination. Shining the light on all that you do. You want this to change in a major, major way. You want it all to go away, really. That's your hopes, your environment, four swords. Well, with the four swords, it's more like, um, it's a retreat. Behind the scenes, you have already lost. You're just trying to save face. I get it. Go ahead. Do you, boo. There's the Knight of Shields. Slow and steady wins the race, but not for you. There's no reliability. That's your word of warning. The Knight of Pentacles is a card of reliability, productivity, security. It's also a card of being stubborn, hard-headed. Unmovable. Page of Swords. It will be delayed. This is not something they're going to be able to take you down overnight. The outcome. Swift and quickly. As soon as they begin, they end. This is not a predictive card either. This, this pertains to your impeachment. This pertains to your lawsuits. So... They won't be able to get you out overnight, but your lawsuits are, are senseless and ridiculous and unnecessary because they're going to win anyway against you. But like I said, you do you, boo. 